Dark Out Hello there everyone, Dark Out here and welcome back to the process of world domination by robots. And if you notice, Woody. Well, Woody double white what? How did I <laughs> How did I screw up the name? Well yeah. If you notice, Woody has broken his axe. And Diglett has broken his spade. And hence, CD is looking for seeds. So we're gonna have to make a crude axe and a crude spade and supply them with that, but why do it yourself when you can make a bot to it? <laughs> do you know what that means, guys? We need another bot. And just like that, the bot creating mating dance have been done and we have a new bot. But now the problem is, if you assign this bot to build the crude axe and a crude workbench, he'll soon run out of rocks and sticks in the assigned place, so we can't do that. But, 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 we can assign him to do some chopping. Let's create some chopping boards. And we can look at the Autonautopedia and see that there are new quests. So I'm gonna focus on lumber and robotics for now. Let's let's leave mining and forestry later. Well, actually, I should probably ah, robotics, chopping boards. What do you need? You need a log and a crude axe. Apparently, there's an axe, and then there was another axe stacked on top of each other. <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> actually, I'll, I'll probably put the damaged axe. Let's drop that down. Let's take that axe and let's use that to make. The chopping board look at that we did it with the damaged axe <laughs> because why waste a broken axe when you can make a structure out of it <laughs> hey this chopping board shall chop logs into planks and this chopping board shall do the same for poles and, and we shall now look into the autonautopedia and if you guys look into the blueprints it's we are just beginning we can make a lot of stuff crude stuff that bot <laughs> Looks like, that is a Wally. That doesn't look like a Wally. <laughs> that is a Wally. Then we have food, nice. Then we have clothes. Wow. We have leisure, <laughs> as if we need that while recording videos. <laughs> Doll, check in the box. We have. We can even create wildlife. How? Look at the amount of wildlife. We have sheep. We have chook. Not a chicken. A chook. We have, that's a bird. I honestly thought that's a blue whale. We can build colonists, apparently. There's this colonist wolf. <laughs> I need the wolf. Colonist wolf, wolf, wolf. For the sake of organization, let's move some stuff first. We'll do the making of crude stuff here. We can store, let's say, logs in here, and we can store let's say planks in here and we can store let's say poles in here so now we can again move stuff we, this will go inside that will go inside there well somewhere around here because our storages are there and that will be hella useful oh there we go you press R to rotate stuff should have should have guessed that should have pretty easily guessed that <laughs> alright and robots shall come out of that now we gotta build the blue palette blueprints first and we'll need some storage too for the axe and whatnot so we will play some storages here not pallets storages please so there goes the storage for axe let's see you can do that all right and a few eternities of shopping stuff later we are finally able to make and bash our storages into existence one storage two storage two one pallet Two pallet, and we shall have the third pallet. I don't have any planks. God damn it! That took so much wood. It's in, like it's so much wood. And for what I have in mind, we are gonna need a lot of bots, and I do mean a lot of bots. It's raining, guys. The planet is shedding tears because it knows what is to come. We shall make plenty of but why do you have to go all the way around to put the thing in? That's bot number one. Cry all you want, planet, we shall colonize you. 
That's bot number two. That's bot number three. And that is finally the bot number four. <laughs> we are reigning bots, Mr. Planet. You shall stand no chance. Okay, the plant kind of... It kind of stopped raining. I think the planet sees how we're sustaining life and whatnot. All right, all right. <laughs> Let's not digress. So Woody Holler already knows to find the nearest log and move to the log and pick up the log, right? Woody Holler, follow closely. We should go pick up a log there because we don't really have a log around. Now, Holler, look closely. You take the log and you put it in there. Right in that mallet. You got that? And you can do that forever, can you not? Because I do think you can only pick up one log at a time, so we don't need the handfuls and hand empty stuff and whatnot. And it will be in that area, and you can do that forever until the end of time, can you not? There was actually a log that I, I could not see because of the tree, but he could. So, bots are inherently better, aren't they? <laughs> hey! Alright, now Woody Hauler will be hauling all the wood in there. Next bot! Woody Chopper! Oh, I actually need to power them up. Never mind. <laughs> Follow me. You will take a plank from this thing. You'll put it in the planky chopper. Then you'll pick up these two planks. Don't need to do that twice. We can do is do that like two times and you shall put them in the plank pallet all right and that is already zero kilobytes what the hell okay move to plank storage you don't need to move to plank storage and add to plank storage twice and you can do that so once he chops the log he produces two planks and he puts them both in there all right Find nearest plank, move to plank, pick up plank. I think we can do this. Like if we separate that and we add another instance, well, do that forever. And we add another instance of times two. So if we did that with only one times two, what would he would have done is picked up a plank, put it back in there. Then he would have come back to pick up another plank and put it back in there. And that would have taken him more time. So let's. See if he works. Picks up a log. Alright. Chops the log up. Alright. Nice, nice. Picks two planks up. Straight there. It's kind of very slow. <laughs> and puts them in. Alright. Plank has... Why? Why? Why did that happen? Take from log storage. Alright. You are add to... Uh, move to plank storage. I'm a dumbass. All right. You got to move to plank storage once and add to plank storage twice. Woody Chopper, you're a dumbass. Okay, Woody Chopper chops the planks, picks up the planks, moves to plank storage once and adds the plank storage twice quickly. Like, wick, wick. okay, nice. Could have optimized the code so he works faster, but unfortunately he has zero kilobytes of brain space left so the planky guy is done and next would be the woody polar <laughs> follow me woody polar you go to this thing you take a plank you put it in the chopper you do that once then you pick these up and you put it back into the storage let's see woody polar you can do your magic all right, the poles have been created. Now he will pick up the poles. Twice. Nice. And he should chug them in. All right, chugging him is faster. And he shall do that until that storage is full. Now, that problem is solved. The other problem is my bot swearing. So we need to automate the making of tools and delivering of the tools. But I do think these bots have enough brain memory left 
to pick up the tools themselves. So we can do that later. But first, we need to automate the creation of tools. But for that, we need another storage. How good. And we will need, yeah, we will kind of need two storage. Never mind. Uh, two storage. One will be for poles and one will be for these stones. And someone can go dig up the stone deposits in here. And that shall be our second storage. Very nice. All right. Fifth bot will be Sticky. And Sticky, what you shall do is find the nearest... No, not tree seed. God damn it. I dropped the tree seed. You shall find the nearest stick and you shall do that until your hands are full. And then you shall drop that in our stick storage until your hands are empty and you shall do that forever and ever until the end of time you see guys in the fresh night there's a new problem dawning upon us and that will be the charging of bots so we gotta go charge the bots but why do that for ourselves when you can have a bot do them tesla you shall not tesca tesla you shall Move to the nearest uncharged bot and charge them. And you shall do that forever. <laughs> Alright, he goes in. He charges Woody. Takes a while for him to charge. And he comes back near our progress beacon. Nice. Now I know what you're thinking. Tesla can charge other bots. But who's gonna charge Tesla? That's where a new bot will come in. <laughs> we shall automate everything. <laughs> there you go, Tesla. T Welcome, Tesla 2. Oh, I can actually pick up the bots and put them in places. How? Why? <laughs> Look at that. They I did not realize they used like log wheels the bots use log wheels <laughs> absolute unit of a bot <laughs> tesla 2 a bot that's discharged you'll go charge that that will be woody cutter and you shall return uh you shall return to tesla 1's area so tesla 1 can charge you if you're discharged does that make sense no that does not make sense you shall not return anywhere. We we need charger bots to overlap in areas and that is gonna be a pain in the butt so we might have to manually charge them sometimes and you shall do that forever. And your region would be, let's max the area and your region would be somewhere around in here. So that overlaps with Tesla 1's area a little and that should, in theory, charge Tesla 1 if he discharges in somewhere around in here look at all the bots discharging and whatnot and our <laughs> wow our pallet storages and whatnot are going nearly full i i like that <laughs> i need a log i need to go bring a log i need to import a log from outside our body area yeah diglett has broken his spade again that's why we need a third workbench which will make us a crude pick we shall make a crude pick. Let's pick up a pole from there. Oh, the storage is open that didn't used to open in the H version. Nice. Official planning forestry and our progress bar should go erector. We got lumberjack shirt, lumberjack's hat. Look at that erect more. Here's your foresty commemorative slab. There you go. Hey, there goes our ninth bot. Ninth bot, let's charge it up, and you shall be the picky. <laughs> Not picky in terms of pickiness, but picky in terms of he's gonna be using a pick. <laughs> You'll do go bash your head against the stone deposit with a pick, and that shall give us plenty of stone. You shall do that forever, and there shall be our tenth robot. What's the pin in the robots? We need to make three bot teams. Okay. And we are almost done on the lumber thing. All right. So 10th bot, you shall be 
Actually, I should probably drop you. You shall be named the stone. The stoned. <laughs> and you shall go find the nearest stone until your hands are full. No! Why did I do that? God damn it. Now go drop that into the stone storage. Do that until your hands are empty. And you shall slave away till the end of time. Let's watch him do that. Jesus, I do realize we need three more bots for just making the pick, spade, and uh, axe. Maybe not, maybe not. We can just do one bot for them. <laughs> How many rocks can you pick? Three? I'd assume it's three. Yep, it is three. All right, three stuff picked up and he will just throw it down. Look at them work. Nice, our automatic industry is coming along pretty nicely. There goes the stick, there goes the rock. We shall toss the crude axe to Woody and that will be the last time we are doing it manually. And I'm very happy to say that because automation is the only way to colonization. And there goes our 11th bot and you shall be, well, first let me charge you. And you shall be crafty because you're gonna craft so what you're gonna do is go grab three stones that means until your hands are full go drop one here go drop one here and go drop one here yeah that is a bit too much for a crude bot i would say so <laughs> we need one bot for individual tools that is that is a bit crap <laughs> All right, just do one thing. Just do one thing. <laughs> uh, do that uh, once, and you move to the stick storage. And you put the stick in. You do that once as well, and then you grab that and put it back into that. Jesus Christ! Okay, even that is a bit too much for this bot. Maybe we don't need. Yeah, we don't need. Do that forever. Take from storage. Move to, move to storage first. Then take from storage. Move to crude workbench. Add to crude workbench. Move to stick storage. Take from storage. Move to storage. Add to storage. Find nearest crude axe. And move to crude axe. Storage. Oh, you can only move to crude axe. And we need another bot to pick the stuff up. Holy crap. Until held object empty times remember and little backpack full. Until not full. And we can do that to the crude X storage. So so it will lock it in here if the crude X storage is full. Let's see that. Let's see that in action. Okay, I, I think it does it what it does. He picks up a stone. He puts it in, he picks up a stick, he puts it in, he makes the crude axe, and it goes around, yeah, it goes around because the crude axe storage is not full. But if the crude axe storage is full, the cursor will just get stuck in here, and it will keep getting stuck in here until the crude axe storage is again not full. Very nice, and we need three more robots! Okay, official planning lumber is finished. What do we get for doing that? I am awarded with tree top. Okay, and a tree hat. That's it. Here's your lumber commemorative slab. And our progress bar gets erector. Hey. All right, now time to complete the last goal for this episode, which will be to complete the robotics. We only need to make bot teams. All right, so create new team. The first team will be uh, Woody. <laughs> Woody's. <laughs> I don't know what to do with that. Red Woody's. Woody will go in there. Woody Holler will go in there. Woody Polar will go in there. 
What is... What is... Why are they... Oh. Yeah, I get it. You have a new stuff to make. You have... Uh, let's cancel that. Yeah, you have a crude gear to make. All right. I, I get it. <laughs> and our crafty has been making so much. Okay. I, we should... Uh, we should actually deliver them. God damn it. <laughs> crafty, you're making too many crude axes. That is for sure. And ten. And now, Crafty shall not be making crude axes because he's actually gonna stuck in the loop while Diglett is not charged. Let's go charge Diglett and we will automate Woody. Where's Woody? Woody, let's stop you. You are gonna chop that until... You're gonna do that until hands are empty. Once your hands are empty, you're gonna go move to the crude axe storage you're gonna take an axe there you go move to crate then you're gonna take from crude axe storage you're gonna do that once and you're gonna go back to find nearest tree and do that so forever all right i figured it out guys it was until hands empty indeed so yeah don't do the until held items empty that's that's just weird why i did that but now he chops that thing he moves to the crate takes from the crate moves to the center of this area so he has better tree detection and then i don't know i let's be honest i just added that move to there just so like yeah just stop stop bro stop what it what it where are you what it what it we don't need that Let, let's work <laughs> okay that should fix it and with that i think that's all the time we're gonna be having for today's episode here guys hope you guys enjoyed watching this video thanks for watching i'm darko and i'll see you guys next time during the colonization process